If you're in the 4x4 community, you've definitely heard about Quick Fist. Uh, mounting accessories, whether it's the hatchets, the shovels, whatever it might be on your 4x4. Well, I've definitely done a lot of work in my own Jeep, and the one video I don't see common is how to mount them to the roof racks. We all know that in the sheds and everything like that, you can just go ahead and zip right through them, but not enough on the racks. We're gonna do it in multiple ways today on my barricade roof rack on my Jeep JKU 2013. Let's do it. All right, originally this was going to be something I did with just the GoPro, but here we go. 5 16 nut driver, hose clamp, and your quick fist. So this one's going to be for those, uh, I guess we could say the cross mounts on top of the roof rack. Uh, this is a recommended method on the back of the quick fist package. They say that using a hose clamp is one of the ways to do it. So you can see I'm using a drill here just to kind of speed things up. I have a little trouble here at first just connecting the hose clamp. But uh, nonetheless, you can use a drill if you want to kind of speed things up a little bit. Uh, nonetheless, it's a small enough project where you can go ahead and just use the uh, hand nut driver. Uh, everything here is going to be 5 16 uh, when it comes to bolts, nut driver, and your tools. Simple stuff. Tighten that right down. This bad boy gets pretty sturdy. to your hose clamp. If you got something just a little bit too big, don't be afraid to get some tin snips. Snip that short. A little bit of plastic dip there. Be all set. Everything will look built in. So here we go on the roof rack. We got a pre-drilled hole for the crossbars. I don't have a crossbar in that particular location, so I'm going to go ahead and just utilize that hole there. And I'm going to be mounting a shovel going the long way here. So... Obviously this hole is not big enough, for those of you who aren't mechanically inclined, not big enough for a 5 16th bolt. So we're going to take our drill, grab a 5 16th drill bit, I'm going to drill that to size. Now this is just rubber, so nice and easy, be careful once your fingers all set. No fluff here. Put your bolt inside. Find that hole. Little band of white there for you. Put it in there. Grab your nut. Washer. Go ahead. Put that underneath. Screw that bad boy on. Look at my 516th wrench over there. It's a ratchet wrench. You don't need the ratchet wrench. This is something you can do with an adjustable crescent wrench. Go ahead. Tighten it on. It gets tight enough where you just put some pressure with your thumb on top and uh, you don't need two wrenches for that. You're all set. So okay, so this next install is going to be um, with the metal speed bits, metal drill bits. You can find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, your hardware stores. And I had my shovel up there, saw where I wanted the other end of my shovel mounted. So I went up there, drew it, kind of marked it with black marker, same angle, drilled right through it. Unfortunately, I got a dead battery here real quick. Got to do a quick reload, but. Reload a full battery. That thing drills right through that. All set. Make sure you get those metal drill bits. Same business as before. Get your bolt in there. Put it through the hole. All set. Ratchet that bad boy down. And finally, here we are. Less than five minutes. Three different ways to go ahead and mount the quick fist accessory mounts onto a roof rack of a four x four. If you just want to use them for your shed, whatever it is, on a vertical or the horizontal, you can go ahead and just drill right through that you can see where the holes are located. But other than that, easy stuff, no fluff, less than five minutes, quick fist. Again, 
like and subscribe. And that's what we got for you here today, Roger USA. Thanks guys for tuning in.